there to meet the photographer to get more information. Yeah, and Mike, you've been giving us an incredible tour. For people just waking up, show them how bad it is. Catherine and Jen, we actually moved our live shot location to the opposite end of the parking lot because, no exaggeration, every couple of minutes we turn, we say, Wait, there's more over there. There's more over there. We chose this location because this is how strong the floodwaters were. At one point, this was fencing. It was standing upright. It is now resting sideways. So push sideways. And then we'll go on a walk over this way. I'll have my photographer, Mo Jetter, follow me to show you that pieces of asphalt have broken off and just washed right into this creek. The floodwaters have receded quite a bit, but it's that constant rain. Every 15 or 20 minutes, it stops, starts back up, and then it goes again. And look at this over here. We mentioned the cars. This car, you can see it's all fogged out. Someone left their back window down. It is soaking wet inside. And just past this point, this really illustrates how powerful the waters were. All of these cars, take a look at this. I don't know how they're going to be able to remove these and pull them out without causing more damage. All four of them sandwiched together pushed right on top of one another. That is how intense this was overnight. And we were hearing from one person out here that actually a Tahoe was parked in the lot, got pushed into the water, and then rushed all the way down the creek past this point where you could see the fencing is now pushed over and resting. Look at this. You just feel bad for these people because they're gonna wake up and they're gonna try to figure out, what am I supposed to do with all this stuff? You know, you have to call your insurance adjuster and try to determine if this stuff is even covered. So we're gonna continue to monitor these conditions and actually within the last 45 minutes to an hour, we talked with one tenant here at the Meadows in Penn Hills, and they said they were absolutely shocked, flabbergasted, and trying to figure out what they're going to do next. Listen in. There's trees everywhere. There's cars everywhere. There's dumpsters on top that are next to cars, and people were just in a panic. I mean, it's overwhelming, and it's definitely panicking. And then look at this. A dumpster pushed sideways and resting right on top of a car. That's not the end of the damage. Coming up in 30 minutes, we're going to walk you through more in this parking lot, so stay with us. Reporting live in Penn Hills this morning, Mike Holden, Jim